Hey everyone, this is the Bearded Zeno, and this is going to be just my EO collection tour. And I haven't done one of these ever, I don't think. I've been meaning to do it for a while because I've got a pretty sizable collection, and I've done all this in about eight months or so. So, yeah, I just got back into collection about eight months ago, and pretty much everything here I've collected in the last eight months. So that's uh, pretty striking. Uh, we'll go nine months. Probably nine months now, yeah, because it's March. But yeah, last nine months I've collected all this. So that's uh, pretty crazy. Some pieces I've had before, which I'll I'll talk about when I get to those pieces. I thought my Gears of War figures have had those forever, but let's go ahead and uh, do the tour. Let's start off with the NECA stuff real quick. And uh, definitely like the biggest part of my NECA collection right here is my Alien uh, Aliens diorama. That I made out of cardboard, spray paint. But yeah, so you can see the um, helmeted Hudson right there. I haven't reviewed that yet. That's uh, my latest edition. I just didn't feel like reviewing it. Whenever I got it, I just want to go ahead and stick it in my drama. Which yeah, it came in a two-pack with this guy right here. So if you want to see a review of that, just let me know. But in here, you see we got Bishop. We got uh, the normal Hudson. And you can't really tell. It's two Hudsons out there with the way I got it posed. So yeah, that's awesome. And we got Hendrix in a really awesome heroic pose. That's the reason I bought that, by the way. I wanted to put Hendrix in a really good pose. And uh, there's Hicks shooting up at that Xeno, protecting uh, the generic Marine Hicks. Which, yeah, I don't think that looks like Hicks, but that makes it okay because that it allows me to get another Marine in my inventory. So that's you know, awesome. And there's the two battle damage Xenos. God, there's pretty much like every shot that you can get in this is a good screenshot. I mean, look at that. That's just so cool. I mean, get into here. <laughs> That's so cool. I really, I just love that guy peeking through the door right there. But, uh, here's some more Xenos. And uh, the dog alien, which is like the best Xenomorph figure they've ever made. Sorry, Queenie, but it's true. And, uh, yeah, that's the only surviving McFarlane figure I have back there. <laughs> uh, or... Actually, I got the McFarlane Terminator 3 figure down there somewhere, I think. I don't know. It's right, it's right here somewhere, so yeah, it's not even that great. But this is the only surviving one that I have, because I had the, the battle alien from AVP. And, well, that's what happened to him. It's because they use clear plastic. Everybody used to use clear plastic. DC Collectibles still does. Or it's, uh, yeah, and um, pretty sucks, but that's the grid alien. In case you can't tell from AVP. Hopefully NECA remakes that so I can just finally sell that off. But, you know, here's the queen. And I can't wait to get the power loader. Because I'm just going to scoot this back. Get rid of this ACM statue. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm just going to move it somewhere else. But, uh... By the way, this is a really nice statue. The only thing that's not that greatly detailed on it is the marine. But other than that, it's a nice statue. Alright, now we're going to move down here. I'm gonna sit down because I had to get lower. And I'm fat, I'm lazy. But uh, this is my alien diorama, which is completely unfinished. I got all the set decoration in there. I just gotta paint it. And uh, it, before it was a matter of it getting warm enough for me to be able to paint it. You know, I mean, spray paint. And uh, now it's a matter of me getting over my pussy fear and going out there and fighting wasps. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't like wasps at all, but uh, you see we got Kane in there, good old big chap, and like I said, that's all the set decoration in there, I just kind of paint it all, and I think you can kind of tell that this is not really any specific scene, like, you know, like this is clearly the colony hallway, but this is supposed to be just like a random creation that I made, inspired by the the C deck where, uh, what's his name? Brett get killed, so or gets killed. See, I'm, I'm gonna glue that chain up there and everything. It's gonna, it's gonna look really nice. Put these in there after I paint it. You got some wires and shit to decorate. I think it's gonna look really nice. But moving on here is the Prometheus one that I have, and there's another figure that I have yet to review, and it's the Deacon. And uh, yeah, that was actually my purchase. Uh, right before I got the Rocky and the Rambo, which we'll take a look at here in a second, but yeah, I just never got around to reviewing that guy. But uh, it's it's a nice figure. So uh, if you want to send me a review of that and uh, the Hudson two pack, just let me know. But 
And here's all the other Prometheus stuff, which this is a great line. It's a shame that it got canceled. So like, if there's any line that I could get NECA to, you know, reproduce at least for one more run, it would be this because they had so many human characters prototyped, you know? But, uh, oh well. Only thing this is missing is Black Rocks. I just gotta get my fat ass out to Hobby Lobby and <laughs> find some black shiny rocks, you know, modeling rocks to put in here. So, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and move over sideways. And here is their 8-bit line. And if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I'm absolutely in love with this line. This line is fantastic. I mean, I even hunted down that Jason right there for 150 bucks. He came with the Freddy as well, but still. Yeah, that was, uh, that was back in the times when the Predator was just coming out, so... Yeah, this this line's definitely gonna grow, and I'm definitely gonna have to get a new shelf for this at least easily by the end of the year because I already got the Predator 2 Predator coming out, the Alien 3 Dog Alien, Gremlins, Godzilla. <laughs> There's a lot of figures coming out in this line, and it makes me happy because I really do love this line. It just I mean, just look at that. that looks so crazy, crazy color schemes, so awesome, love it. Uh. Let's just go ahead and move down a shelf. Get rid of this kick-ass thermos. Just move it up. But, uh, coming in here. Sorry, it's a little dark in this corner. But, like I was talking about before, there's my Gears of War figures. I've had all those before I started collecting. Uh, the latest one that I got was the Baird figure. And that was actually my first NECA figure that I opened in a long while. But, uh... Let's see, the first actual naked figure that I got in like, in between my five year break was Hudson. Because I got him through the Power Up Awards and I was going to leave him still, but I opened it up for a contest on my old channel. I like a shit. Basically it was like, get a certain number of people to sign uh, Aliens, Clothing Marines petition and I would open it for him. But yeah. That, uh, yeah, that was like the first figure that I ever opened, the second one I ever opened in forever was Baird. And that Baird figure is an amazing figure. I really, 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 really hope that NECA gets to revisit the Gears of War license when the new Gears of War game comes out because the work they were doing with Baird there was fantastic. I'd love to see more characters get that style of articulation right there. Because it just looks so badass and I love the detail and everything on it. I mean, their old ones are good for you know, the time that they were in, but that Baird is something else, man. I would love to see them do the rest of their... Here's more figures like that, but yeah, we got Booker to Whip. I gotta hunt down some more Bioshock Infinite stuff because you know, I love that game. But uh, that's another one I got through Power Up Awards. Same with Baird. But uh, Jack Sparrow, that's one of the original NECA figures that I had. I got that in the mall at Spencer's Gifts back when this thing came out. It used to be where I have to get my NECA figures. It's also, you know, skip over a little bit. <laughs> where I got that Freddy at, and that's also where I got these AVP Requiem figures right there. Ed Spencer's Gifts. So yeah, that shows you where I used to have to get these things. And, uh, or these things. Then we got Colonel Stars and Stripes, and that Kick-Ass figure, which I absolutely hate. The articulation is super limited on it, and mine is filled with QT issues, but, you know, whatever. Uh, it looks cool, so that's why I haven't got rid of it or thrown it away, because, like I said, it's very much just trash and that's pretty much just my figure but still if you're gonna get one of that and you don't mind the limited articulation then yeah definitely pick that up because it's only like 10 bucks now but okay heavy back there from team fortress 2 and gorilla soldier which he's leaning back let me fix that there we go the gorilla soldier from uh planet of the apes the single planet of the apes figure i have again i got that through power rewards sorry for my sniffles allergies and we got the Rambo figure that that figure is based off of, which I'll show that in my review, but... Mm. Again, pardon my allergies. This is a very cool figure. I just, uh... I don't know, I just don't like the aesthetics of it. Uh, I'm thinking about selling it. So if anybody wants to throw me an offer for this guy, you know, he's loose or anything, so... I know he's sold out, kind of hard to get a hold of. If you throw me at a good price, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll do a deal with you, but, uh... Moving on over to my Nightmare on Elm Street stuff, which I really got to get more of, because I gain part of the sniffle. 
I really do love Nightmare on Elm Street, and you know, I love the remake. I mean, I love these remake figures too. I'm like the only person on the planet Earth, besides surprisingly Dolphin, that actually loves the Nightmare on Elm Street remake. So yeah, <laughs> but I love these uh, remake figures, and I love this f Ultimate Freddy figure. And uh, that's the new Nightmare figure. I, I just gotta get some more Freddy figures, you know? It's uh, definitely uh, up on my chopping block to get those. Moving on over, we got some Predators. You got to see, we got the EVP Requiem stuff back there, which I keep in shadow because I'm kind of ashamed of. Thinking about just getting rid of it. Because, uh, you know, they are kind of, kind of valuable. But I do like the look of them. I, just, I don't like what they stand for. Which I'm going to do a whole review of AVP Requiem eventually, probably sometime this week, so... Yeah. I just, I really hate that movie so much. But, uh, see we got the Wolf Predator and the Pred Alien. Moving on over. Let me shift my hand real quick, sorry. We see we got the, uh... Bad Blood Predator, the Enforcer Predator, or the Shredder Predator, everybody calls him. He's leaning over, kind of funky. The Elder Predator version 2, the Thermal Vision Dutch... The, uh, wow. I have forgotten his name. He's a Kenner Predator. Lava Planet Predator and the High Voice Predator. So, yeah. Can't believe I forgot that guy's name. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. And here is my Sideshow figures that I have. Mostly X-Files. But, and this is the one Sideshow figure I haven't reviewed. Is the, uh, the Ash from Army of Darkness. But yeah, this... God, this figure is so awesome. I'm never going to get rid of that figure. Even though his shotgun is completely broken, I'm, I'm faking it and I'm using one from like an old 21st Century Toys figure. If you ever heard of that, look it up. It's an old, old 1-6 collectibles company. Bought that back in the day at Walmart. So yeah. In fact, you used to buy these you know, collectibles at Walmart. That's crazy. Not a sideshow, but like one, uh, 21st Century Toys. You get those at Walmart. But yeah, there's Mulder. There's Frank Black. And I had to look down at the box to remember his name. That's kind of sad. And Scully. So, yeah, that's my um, Sideshow X-Files stuff. And like I said, there's their boxes. While we're here, here's my Sideshow boxes. Or, sorry, my Hot Toys boxes. And uh, the Queen box. So, yeah. Now we gotta get up. Move on up here. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that poster. That's kind of in shadow. I gotta remove it. But that's a gift from Moosh a long time ago. Thank you again, Moosh. Moving on over, we got the Mego stuff. Three Naka and two Diamond Select stuff, and I hate the Diamond Select stuff if you've seen the review, but... Here is Freddy. Awesome figure. The, uh, Part 5 Jason, which is an awesome figure. I've never even seen the movie. I have no attachment to Jason. I just picked it up because it looks cool. And, of course, we have Evil Dead 2 Ash. And, my God, I love this figure. I just don't like anything, Evil Dead or Army of Darkness. And, last but not least, the Blood Man Chronic figures from uh, Jan and Silent Bob Strike Back by Diamond Select. And they suck. They suck. They really do. Ugh. They, they went, you know, more classic Mego style instead of trying to update them like NECA's doing, you know? Where it's like a... Like a, a, a a action figure with uh, modern conventions, but in Amigo style, they just basically created an Amigo figure. So, yeah, pretty crappy by today's standards. Look cool when you keep them on card, though, but figures are crap when you take them out of the box. And here is my Kenner vehicles for my alien stuff, <laughs> and a PS3 copy of a Colonial Marines for some reason. Let me move these thumbtacks. You can see all my vehicles that open up out of the box. Really, really cool. And here's all my carded figures. Da -da -da. Oh, by the way, uh, finally sent out that bishop to John Black's head a couple weeks ago. So, he should be getting it here soon, hopefully. But uh, that's for my... What was it? Uh, 100 subscribers contest or something like that? I don't know. Some contest they held. I can't remember what it was. But, uh, yeah, like I said, here's all my carded Kenner Alien stuff. Absolutely love it. It's not complete, but it's good enough for me. And last but not least, the Hot Toys stuff. 
And we got the Star Spangled Man cap, which is awesome. I just reposed most of these yesterday, so yeah. But I love how I got a shield and a strap like that, and not everybody's gonna have that. Really, really cool. Here's Black Widow. Really, really love that Black Widow figure. Let me go ahead and move her out of the way. Let me get a good to look at Tony Stark. God, I love that figure. And here is Winter Soldier. And last but not least is my DX Mime Joker, which I absolutely love. So yeah, that's uh that's it for the collection. So yeah, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about your know, collection there, you want to talk about anything that I have in here, just let me know. And I'll see you in the next video.